They're all trying to run away, so obviously they can't take flight. Pest controller Gary Green looks through the fresh carnage caused by foxes that are hitting a poultry farm in Surrey. That's a real old mess. This shows foxes don't just take one for the pot, so in order to keep the farmer's losses to a minimum, sporting rifle contributor Gary needs to get on top of the problem. He's going to do that by getting above the problem in his bespoke fox box. Perched on top of a container, it's a home from home. Right, we're back on a chicken farm again, um, and a friend of mine, Josh, has come along to um, have a look at the fox box in particular up there because he's thinking about building one himself. He's going to see what goes on in there, how comfortable it is, how safe it is, and dry, because it's looking like it's going to pour rain this evening, so it'll give him a good, a good run through of what it's like, and um, hopefully it'll be worth his while building one. Um, we've got tea up there and coffee and heaters, so you'll be all right. <laughs> Gary shot six foxes here a week ago, all in two hours, and during daylight. It doesn't have to be dark for foxes to be active, especially these foxes. It's nice to see the early one. It do not always go according to plan when you've got a camera up there. It goes on till two or three in the morning, and then it's just like someone's let them all out from the other side of the edge. They just all start wandering in. Yeah. We soon have to move to night vision as we lose the light. No daylight antics on for us in this particular foxing foray, but who cares? We have tea. Eventually, Gary's patience pays off. He tracks him, waiting for his chance, managing the call. So it's always just to the left of that telegraph pole. Yeah. That's their way through from there. It may well be that that's in there. There's all sorts of old machinery and stuff for a fox, perfect for a fox to lay up. Yeah. And it always seems to be that before long one comes directly there. Yeah. We'll give it five or ten minutes and we'll call again, just see if there's anything else holding back in that edge. For a couple of hours, there is just a cat hunting around this farmyard. Then another fox appears, just as cameraman James returns from having a pee. Too much tea, perhaps. I don't think it's going to come. I'm going to shoot it there. Gary again needs to stop it in its tracks, first with his shout, then his RPA rifle in 223 stops it properly. We've got our two. That's classic though, just like pigeon shooting, you get the flask out. <laughs> in this case, <laughs> in, the, in this case it weren't the flask, but whatever you start to do, have a wee, get your sandwiches, have a cup of tea, along comes matey. Mm. That was a dog, the first one. I always try and turn them broadside if I can. You might as well make life as easy as you can. It's a big old target then. The bullet on that one, that's um, the Gecko 56 grain. That's gone in nice and uh, exploded. And that's got a hole out the back of it like the size of my fist. So that was instant death, that one, which is what we want. Yeah, we've had a bit of a wait for the second one, but I was quite sure we might see a second one. I thought we might lose it, but it stayed within range. It was still safe on the track there. That's a good. 10 metres in off the hedge. Put the light on it myself just to ID for sure, because it was dark in the scope, even though I could see it was a fox. Lit it up and sent the bullet in there, a nice clean kill at about 110 yards on the track. So that was a good one to get, especially it turned out being a vixen, so that was a good one. 
So is Josh in the market for a Fox box? If you're up there, you're warm, your mind's set on the job properly, you're not going to be making any silly mistakes. You're in the right place. And uh, yeah, I think it's just something well worth investing in. Fox boxes can be pretty cheap, especially if you have the materials to make your own wooden shelter. It could be a worthwhile investment if you're protecting a farm full of fox food like this one.